What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Frankie Hardwork with another video today. And um, this topic I'm about to talk about is pretty different. Um, you know, I happen to just be going through my, going through articles, you know, reading stuff like that. And um, I came upon an article by Madam by Madam Noah. And um, I'm not gonna lie. After reading this, I, I'm definitely was offended. You know, people are gonna say why, but I'm going to it. But um, the name of the article was um called "Black Women Can No Longer Afford to Save Broken Black Men." Now, you read the name of the um title. It says "Broken Black Men," so you would ask. Why are you offended? If you're not a broken black man, why are you offended? Because one quick reason is I'm offended because when you go through the article, she says black men through the whole thing. She doesn't s separate broken black men from black men so we all know in media 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 is very psychological so even though you start this article of saying the name of the article broken black men throughout the article saying black men black men black men so that's all you hear if you think i'm reaching it is what it is but in this article to me, I feel like she's putting all black men in a box. I feel like she's putting all black men in a box. And it's like, she's making black men, to me, seem like we're monsters. Now, granted, once again, the name of the article is called Broken Black Men. I get it. I understand that. I hear that. But throughout the article, she's saying black men. And there's the point she's even giving out. Like, she's talking about how pretty much women is just taking care of every black man and, and taking every black man and just making him, the you know, like he's just weak. Like, we have to depend on, on women. You know what I mean? Like, we have to depend on women and um, no doubt it's definitely, and uh, let's, let's not get it twisted now. There's definitely some men out there, some weak men out there, weak black men, but weak men, period. But we're talking about black men right now, but it's definitely weak black men out there that's getting taken care of women that don't mind getting taken care of women. You understand? But I can honestly say, I believe, to me, I really believe the percentage is small. The weak men that's getting taken care of by women, the percentage is small compared to the ones that's out there that taking care of themselves or taking care of, of a woman and taking care of their household. Because I'm going to honestly say this, and I'm not just saying it just to prove a point, but I, where I'm from, I know a lot of men that handle their business, take care of their kids, take care of their family, take care of their woman, protect their woman. You understand? Send their cool kids to school, buy cars for the kid. Work hard as hell. I know a lot of them. You understand? And I'm not going to throw myself in the equation because that don't even make sense. Like, I'm not even going to put myself in the equation. I know what I am. It is what it is. But there's a lot of black men that's out there handling their business. Now, granted, like I said, it's a lot of women that's taking care of black men. But you got to look at it like this. There's a lot of good men. I got a lot of good women out there. I mean, a lot of good men out there, but... A lot of women, sometimes they overlook them. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? You got a nice guy. And like I said, I made a video called, like, watch out for a man that's too nice. But you have a nice guy. You definitely got to watch out for those because those are the crazy ones. But you got some good men that actually want to be there and, and you know, want to listen, genuinely listen to your problems and, you know, go go through the struggle with you. And when I say go through the struggle with you, that don't mean necessarily that he trying to struggle with you like being broke and not doing nothing but he just there with you no when you say go through the struggle with you is if you got your struggle going on he's going through it with you trying to help you it's a lot of men like that huh? 
Like we we we, we got to stop discounting black men because when I looked at this article, to me, I'm sorry, I feel like they're trying to pin black men against black women. I think it's an agenda right now where they want to go from they want black women to be against black men. It always been an agenda, but now it's like really getting real serious because it's always some type of article where they're down a black man. Now, granted, in this article, she never not once told them they should jump ships and mess with another race or anything like that. No, not at all. It wasn't that there. But she was talking about a lot of different things in here. And um, one of the things she was, one of the things that she was basically saying, because a little bit I got out of it, a little bit I got out of it, that she was saying like women gotta, you know, no longer can't be taking care of men. And, and it is some bums out there. It definitely is. But we cannot we cannot discount the strong men out there because I feel like the bums get oh, um, is overshadowing the good dudes, man. And it's not right. And we all know black men get attacked from every angle. Every angle. We get attacked media. We get attacked by... I'm sorry, no disrespect to nobody, but we get attacked by women sometimes. We get attacked by other race. We get attacked by everybody, like... And as a, as me as a black man, I know I've been through. I've been through stuff. I know what I've been through, and relationships and things of that nature. I know what I've been through. You understand? So sometimes when I be seeing articles like this, it just bugs me out. And then when you look at some of the comments, sometimes you be like, "Damn!" Like, like sometimes you women, sometimes you have to take responsibility for the dude type of dudes you choose as well. I'm sorry, you have to. Just like the same thing with dudes. And I say this all the time. Like, it's your choice. You know for the fact before you mess with this woman, you know for a fact that she was this type of woman, but you chose the wife for You know for a fact that she didn't have no money and she she, she wasn't trying to do anything. She didn't have no type of uh, uh, motivation to do anything, but you chose to be with her and take care of her. You can't be mad when she do the things that... You expect it from her. To you. And it's a, yeah, you got to deal with that. But I don't see, and I'm going to say this, I, it's a lot of, like I said, you have to take you have to take responsibility. But the reason why I get a little aggravated because you don't see a lot of, now granted, you don't see a lot of articles out there talking about black women and we got to stop taking care of black folk and women, this and that, and this and that, and black women, this, black women, this. Nah, you don't see that, but you do see some, a few people on YouTube are talking about black women. And, and you be seeing a lot of, some, some of them be sounding ignorant. Talking about black women, talking crazy. That's a handful though. You can't take them, them few people and just pass judgment on all black men. You understand? It, that don't make sense to me. And she also brought up an article because a couple of weeks ago, rest in peace, um, the lady that started, um, what's her name? Uh, Sadie Roberts, Sadie Roberts Joseph, she started the um, the African American Museum, and you know she started the African American Museum twenty years ago, and I think the first and the only one, which is a, a accomplishment in its own right there, you know what I mean? And and in his article, they were saying that black men was trying to find out pretty much who killed her because they found the stuff in the trunk dead. And, you know, it was a lot of conspiracy theories out here saying that, you know, the white people, it was probably the white people she was talking about, you know, going against that had something to do with that. And, they, you know, was stopping them from talking. So that was the word, right? But it come to find out, a, a dude from the community, um, his name is, um, his name is, um, what's his name? I'm going to get to it in a second. Oh, his name is Ron Jermaine Bell. Right, 38 years old, convicted child rapist. Now, this is the dude that took care of her. I mean, this is the dude that killed her, right? That killed her, allegedly. This is what they put in the article, allegedly. I'm going to say allegedly. I don't know for sure, but this is what they're saying. So this is the dude that allegedly killed her now. This is his record, right? He's a, um, wait, wait. He's a, a child rapist that served a seven-year sentence in connection to the aggravated rape of an eight-year-old girl 
as a as a registered sex offender with restrictions on where he can live, work, and socialize, Bell relied on the essential goodness of people overlook his crime and recognize his humanness. Had it not been for Miss Sadie allowing Bell to rent an apartment in, in one of her properties, Bell would have likely struggled to secure housing while branded by his scarlet letter. But Miss Sadie chose compassion if only the luxury had been afforded to her. Now that's sad because she actually wanted to take help this man out and she looked over the fact that he was a convict, a convicted rapist and, 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 and things of that nature and she rented him an apartment. And that's and that's wrong, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I just wanna say this though. I know I wouldn't have let that do, even though see everybody gets second chances, I understand that. But when you when you put your hands on a kid, when you rape a kid and you do all that, I'm not helping you out, bro. I'm sorry, I'm not helping you, bro. You don't just you don't deserve no help from me. You're not getting no help from me. You're not getting no help from me. So that right there is gonna eliminate the problem of you even getting close to me. You understand? Because you're a convicted rapist. You you raping eight year old kids, seven year old kids. You're not getting it from me. Get it from somebody else. I'm sorry. And that's the same way she should have been with him. Rest in peace to her. And that's that's sad that she had to go through that. But you can't blame all but and then and then in an article she stated that when they found out it was a black man did it, all black men just turned their back on her and just straight didn't care no more. You see what I'm saying? And that's what I don't like about this article. It's like she putting all black men in a box. It's and we're not doing that. You understand? Like I said, there's some strong black men out here. A lot of strong black men. I ain't gonna say it's some. It's a lot of strong black men out here. We just get overlooked. Come on, think about it. I know a lot of y'all got some successful fathers out there. I know a lot of y'all got some successful brothers out there. I know a lot of y'all got successful sons, nephews, cousins out there. Black men that take care of their kids, that got a family, that be there for you and other people in their family. That's a rock in their family. I know y'all have them. So why is it always so, so in your family? So why is it when a dude do a female wrong, a black man do a female wrong, black female wrong, it's like he get him, just one bum nigga, you know what I mean, get pretty much everybody get judged by him from 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 from, 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 um, from here on out. That's not right. And, 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 and the same thing goes for black men. Just because you get done dirty by a black woman, black black woman, that doesn't mean all black women is like black women is like that. Cause there's some, there's a lot of dudes out there that are like that too, and that's corny. You know what I'm saying? I have my situations, and every situation is different. And you learn from that situation. Every lesson is a listen. Every lesson is a stressing than a blessing. You know what I'm saying? So think about that, man. Like we, we I mean, like I said, I'm gonna put the article through there. You are gonna see it, but to me, I just feel like it's wrong. And I want to know how y'all feel about this because, I mean, and I'm welcoming your comments. I welcome your comments. I welcome your opinions and things of that nature. I'm not taking away it's some strong black women out there, but come on now, we gotta admit it's some strong. It's some. It's a lot of strong black men. It's men as well. You got, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you have one. And, it's, and if you didn't meet that man yet, it is what it is. But we can't just be putting anybody in a box like that. But that's not right. And yes, I am offended by this article. I'm definitely not a broken black man. Yeah, my heart been broken before, but I'm not a broken black. I'm not broken down. You know what I mean? Yeah, sometimes you can be broken. And sometimes you do need a woman. And see, that's the thing. And, I, and, that's, and that's the thing how I didn't like the way she interpreted it. Like, sometimes a man can be broken down because he been hurt by a woman that he was there for, that he took care of. Sometimes he do need a strong woman to come in and repair it and, and bring him back to reality and let him know everybody not evil. So I don't see what's wrong with that. You know what I mean? You got to distinguish the difference. When you say, to, what, because in the article she said something about a wounded man, but you got to distinguish the difference because... You know, it's a great feeling when you meet a woman that's, you know what I mean? You, you can have your, your, your stuff together and still be broken. 
You know what I mean? Not one, not really want to trust women, but it's a good feeling when you meet a strong woman that come in and just change that. That's a beautiful thing. But you can't sit there and be like, oh, yeah, well, oh, he a bum and she taking him, she buying him sneakers and all that. If you choose to do something like that, if you choose to take care of a grown man, then that's on you. You can't sit there and put that on the whole race. That's you. And the same thing with a woman. Sometimes you got a woman that's broken down. You got a lot of women that's broken down because you, they met her with some... You know what I mean? Some dub, some dub type dude that wasn't about nothing. I was a bum that they took, that the dude took their kindness for weakness. And they taking care of this dude. And you, you run into a real man that see that and want to build you back piece by piece, brick by brick. You have real men like that. So let's, let's, let's celebrate those too. Because everybody celebrate controversy. Let's celebrate the real men too. Let's not forget about those too. Because like I said, you have him in your family as well. Brothers, uncles, fathers, cousins, sons, nephews, etc. So I really want to know what's your opinion on this. You know what I mean? Let me know how you feel about this. It's your boy Frankie Hardwork. Like, comment, subscribe. Be easy.